This video in the World Partition series discusses how to change the minimap and streaming grid properties. The Unreal Engine 5 World Partition system supports the recommended landscape sizes from 127 to 8129. However, resolutions larger than 8129 use a different sizing system for World Partition. This includes both square and rectangular dimension sets. Be sure to use the correct world partition sizing, otherwise the height map typically gets padded to the next larger valid resolution. The streaming grid is used to specify the square regions for streaming actors in and out of the world. The grid size value is adjusted with the world settings, world partition, runtime settings, grids, cell size. The grid size value is the number of world units in centimeters that each streaming grid cell is in size for width and length. This value is typically set to the size of the streaming distance desired, which often is a multiple of the landscape component size. The minimap is used to control the loading and unloading of landscape streaming proxy actors and all of the scene actors placed onto them. The minimap cell size is controlled with the world settings, world partition, advanced, world partition editor cell size. This size value is also in world units of centimeters, but will typically be set to the size of each landscape streaming proxy in order to be able to control the world visibility at that granularity. To change the minimap cell size, click on the Save button and reload the level. Reloading a level can be accomplished by right-clicking on a level in the editor and choosing Save, then Edit. The minimap texture can be accessed by selecting the World Partition Minimap item in the Outliner and going to the Details panel. The size of the minimap texture can be changed from being the same size as the landscape by changing the minimap tile size property. This value default is 1024, which results in a minimap that is the same near power of two dimension as the landscape. For example, an 8129 by 8129 landscape will result in an 8192 by 8192 minimap texture if the tile size property is the default 1024. To create a smaller resolution minimap texture, change the tile size property to a smaller value such as 512 or 256. A value of 512 will result in a minimap texture that is one half of the landscape size. For example, an 8129 landscape will have a 4096 texture. This can reduce the texture streaming pool requirements and allow for creating minimap textures for landscapes larger than 16K without using runtime virtual textures. So for a 32 km landscape, set the minimap tile size property to 256 to create an 8192 by 8192 texture for the minimap. You might find it preferential to set the minimap and streaming grid properties to match the landscape properties. The reasoning for this is so that the actor streaming cell size is based on landscape component sizes, and the minimap cell size is based on the landscape streaming proxy actor sizes. The default minimap cell size of 12,800 results in a very crowded minimap interface. When a height map is imported in for a landscape, that height map is split into pieces called landscape streaming proxies. Each landscape streaming proxy actor is the finest granularity that you can load and work on for a landscape actor in your world design. An example world size and height map size might be 16,321 by 16,321 which will split into a 16 by 16 grid of landscape streaming proxy actors for a total of 256 actors for the landscape system. The default streaming grid cell size is 25,600. To set the streaming grid cell size to the landscape component resolution, load one or more landscape streaming proxies and select one to look at the properties. Set the grid cell size to the component size minus 1, or 50% minus 1 of the component resolution, times 100. The default minimap cell size is 12,800. To have the minimap cells match up as close as possible to the landscape streaming proxy size, 
so that selecting and locating or unloading a minimap cell is roughly equivalent to a landscape streaming proxy. Set the editor cell size to the landscape dimensions divided by landscape streaming proxy count along the largest dimension size such as the width. Note that the minimap cells cannot match up exactly with the landscape streaming proxy size. So each minimap cell may load from one to four landscape streaming proxies that are adjacent to each other. This is because the minimap cell editor cell size is not a floating point value and cannot correctly equal a single landscape streaming proxy size. You could set the minimap editor cell size to one half of the landscape streaming proxy size. That way you could always have the granularity of loading a single landscape streaming proxy. However, then up to four minimap cells would control each landscape streaming proxy actor, making it even more confusing as to which cell to select to load. If the minimap cell size is smaller than a landscape streaming proxy size, then multiple cells will load the same landscape streaming proxy. Selecting a landscape streaming proxy in the outliner will draw a square for where it is located in the minimap, so you can see how many cells load that same landscape streaming proxy actor. In these example screenshots, you can see that the minimap cells properly match up with the landscape dimensions and landscape streaming proxy count. For example, a 16321 landscape has 16 by 16 landscape streaming proxy actors, and the minimap also has 16 by 16 cells. And a 12241 landscape with 12 by 12 landscape streaming proxy actors, and a 12 by 12 minimap cell grid. I have found that the display grids feature is not very reliable and the grid lines do not display correctly at many display resolutions. I have a 34 inch 4K monitor and at any resolution other than 1920 by 1080 the display grid lines are fluid and imprecise and move all over the place as the camera is moved. This is in Unreal Engine 5 release 5.0.2. This issue with the grid rendering makes it impossible to tell what streaming grid the actors are located in.